Good morning, Proniax Hump Day. Yeah, it is even the middle of January already. We're getting heavy into 2018. And how are you doing on your resolution? How are you doing on your goals? Are you doing your small daily action? I'll show you a story of what we're going to talk about today, which is being aware as well as having those hard conversations, those conflicting conversations in order to grow, in order to make your life better to where you imagine it, to where you visualize that you want to be. So I was at Costco last night and Monica and I haven't been able to spend a lot of time together recently, but Rick, uh, the daughter's, our daughter's grandpa moved in with us just recently. So it allows us a little bit more time to not only get out and run some errands, but to get out together. So I was exhausted, Monica was too, and we decided to go make a Costco run about 8.15 last night. We probably got in around 8 o'clock, so we had these, uh, you know, you could tell that things were festering underneath because we haven't had the opportunity to talk, really sit down and talk to each other, not only about the end of the year and how it worked out financially, but as well as time management and where we were, because I had been bringing up finances for the last couple weeks because um, the, at the end of last year I found out what our finances look like and then what we current our current situation was and that wasn't where we wanted to be and I was expressing that as a matter of awareness but it came off as spiteful because she was the person Monica was the person that was controlling the finances and was making all the decisions to put the money where it needed to be but we never made a decision together or made a plan in order to cooperate on where the money should go right so of course if you don't have a plan you're just gonna free flow your cash into wherever is immediate instead of what's important it might be important and immediate but sometimes you need to put it into what's important and not urgent or immediate like putting money away for a vacation or putting money away for a your retirement or kids education things like that those are very important but they're not immediate they're not emergencies but uh, staying away from credit card debt things like that is that was a big goal for us last year but we didn't put a plan of action in, and we started talking about this and we didn't actually have a conversation because the time was never placed or never uh, planned for in order to talk about what we're going to do with it. So be aware of what your situation is in the different aspects of your life, your, your family. Are you being aware? Are you being uh, present with your family currently? And if not, have those hard conversations with your kids, with your wife. Hey, do you feel respected? Do you feel that I'm aware when I'm home? Things like that. Uh, a really cheesy one, but works really well. So on a scale of 1 to 10 to your wife or spouse, how would you rate me as your husband or wife? Okay, if it's anything less than a 10, what could I do to make that a 10? See, that's a really easy way to kind of get some things out in the open and have those hard conversations. And it's difficult to just throw out there because you feel kind of stupid doing it. But you'll feel stupid not doing it later down the road when she says or he says, hey, I really have this issue with you and it was never addressed. Or you get served those divorce papers and you say, I didn't even know this was a problem. And she says or he says, well, you never asked. Right. Have those hard conversations. Be aware of the things that are maybe straying or just letting go in your life. And this is really true with your physical, your physical appearance, uh, your fitness, keep on top of that and be aware of what you're doing with that in order to get to the place that you want to go, right? You have that vision, you have that person that you want to become, that role model that you are, that you want to be to your kids, to the people that you work with, to your boss. But it also causes you a lot of joy because this is the person that you desire. So I want to share that with you today. Have those hard conversations in the different aspects of your life. Don't beat yourself up about what you did yesterday. I know I did because it was 
Like I had this grand idea that I was gonna reinvigorate my real estate professional referral program and reach out to all these realtors. That never happened because there was immediate uh, urgent situations that came up. But this is really important to me. So I went home feeling exhausted, mentally disproportionate because I was working on some tax situations for my owners and vendors, the 1099s. But beside that, it was I was working on the urgent rather than the important, what I thought was important. So I went home without being able to finish the things that I thought were important. It wasn't until this morning that I was able to forgive myself for that and say, you know, it's, it's all about what you feel is important. So you're the one that creates the plan. There's always another day, right? You can always make it a better day, but if you carry your judgment into this morning while you're on the bike, you're not gonna have a great time, you know, doing your education, fulfilling yourself with your physical activity creating your joy within yourself in order to grow you're gonna stifle yourself and you're gonna hold yourself back because you have that anxiety or animosity towards yourself because you didn't accomplish things you wanted to yesterday so let go of the things and judgments that you had yesterday but be aware of what you're doing today in order to become the person that you want to be and have those hard conversations in order to sharpen yourself and continue to grow and be the person that you're looking to be as a role model. It's not what I say or do, but the way I assist in making you feel that you're going to remember.